in foundation maths this video is about exponents and radicals so in this video i'll explain you all the basic formulas which are required for exponents and radicals and further videos you'll see all the example problems which are related to these formulas first let us discuss what is exponents and radicals for example if i write 2 to the power 3 so this actually is the meaning is 2 into 2 into 2 2 if you multiply 3 times that is you can write in the form of 2 to the power 3 in this this 3 is exponent so that power or we can uh, call it as a power even we can take it as exponent or sometimes index also so these are all the terms you can use which is raised now the base this down is the base so 2 to the, 2 is the base and power 3 if we write x to the power n then n is the power x to the power n we are saying right so n is equals to the exponent or we can call it as a power or index now this is x is a base so based on the power only we can denote the x for example 2x cube and 2x whole cube so in this both cases 3 is the power in first case 3 is power and in second case also same the 3 is the power but in first one the base is only x because that power is only for x so x is the base there now here the power 3 is for completely 2x and this 2x to the power 3 so here 2x is the base 2x we can treat as we can take it as a base now radical, radicand and radical sign you will see now for example if I write x to the root y x to the root of y always cube root of 4 so like these examples now this y is radicand this is radicand and the square root right this is you can call radical sign this is radical symbol and this x is the index this is index in cube root of 4 the 3 is the index and 4 is radical so this only we can write as 4 to the power 1 by 3 but up to here we can treat as the 3 is the index so which is raised to the power now I'll explain you all the formulas one by one so there are approximately 16 formulas are there in this exponents and radicals chapter I'll explain you all the formulas and I'll write here just note down so let us see the formulas one by one So based on these formulas only we can uh, solve the problems which I explain in the next videos. First one a to the power 0 is equals to 1. The meaning of this is a is the base and 0 is the power. So for any base the power is 0 that value is equal to 1 ok the base is anything if you take 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1 3 to the power 0 is equal to 1 whereas 2x to the whole to the power 0 is equal to 1 so for any base the power is 0 then that value is equal to 1 now a to the power 1 is equals to a because power is only 1 a to the power m 
into a to the power n is equals to a to the power m plus n. So here bases are same. So we should need add the powers. Whenever the bases are equal, then only we should add the powers. So a to the power m plus n. Okay, I'll take one example for this third formula. 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 2. So we can write 2 to the power 3 plus 2. That is 2 to the power 5. So this value and this 2 to the power value both will come same answer if you solve. Now, a to the power m divided by a to the power n is equals to a to the power m minus n. If the bases are same but they are in numerator and denominator, then we should subtract the powers. That is numerator power minus to the denominator base to the power. We can write in one another way also this 1 by a to the power n minus m. So if you want to change the power, if you do reciprocal it, then it will be power sign will be changed. a to the power m whole to the power n is equals to a to the power m into n. So in this formula the powers you now a to the power m, m is the power for a. Again n is the power for overall a power m. So with the same base a we should add the powers. m is the power and n is the power. Then both we can multiply m into n. Okay, if we take example 2 power 3 all to the power 4. So we can write 2 to the power 3 into 4. That is 2 to the power 12. Yeah, so these both are equal. Now take sixth one. A, A into B all to the power m is equals to A to the power m into b to the power m. If the same power is there, then base is the product of two numbers, we can split. Just we can split this. a into b whole power m. So this power m we can split for a as well as to the b. a power m into b power m. Not only this, any number is there, we can extend this. 2 into 3 into 4 whole to the power 2 is there. So we can write 2 power 2 into 3 power 2 into 4 to the power 2. We can split that power to all the bases if it is a product. Next, I'll write here. Okay, this is a sixth one. Now, a seventh formula a to the power minus m is equals to 1 by a to the power m. So just to, if you want to change the power minus sign, if it tries in a denominator place, the power sign will be changed. a to the power minus m is equals to 1 by a to the power m. Even we can split the power in the form of a by b all to the power m. So as I explained earlier, a power m by and b to the power m. The same power you can split. Next, nth root of a into nth root of b. So nth root of a into b. Same similarly, like previous problems. Previous problem. Okay, this is Next. If the nth root and both are different. Now for example, nth root of a into m nth root of a only. Here index is uh, different but base is same. That means the radicand is same. This we can write m into n m into nth root of a power m plus n. 
okay, if you expand it you can find out this so 10th formula I'll solve here I'll explain you a to the power 1 by n into a to the power 1 by m because I can write so 10th formula I am proving you now nth root of a into mth root of a so this I can write a power uh, 1 by n into a power 1 by m now I got the previous formulas then the base is same powers you can add that is 1 by n plus 1 by m so e to the power m plus n by m into n if you do lc1 fraction addition then a to the power 1 by m into n whole to the power m plus n I can write so this is mn root of a then whole to the power so for a power you can write m plus n so this you can split the power you can write for individual so this is the formula Similarly, 11 is if 2 times root mth root of nth root of a, then we can write m into n nth root of a, we can write directly mnth root of a. Similarly, the splitting like previous formulas also if nth root of a by nth root of b is equals to nth root of a by b now a index is uh, radicand is a and b now for 13th formula nth root of a by and mth root of a now this we can write m into n this also we can explain it similarly previous to the a to the power m minus n same if expand like this example you can do it 14th p to the power nth root of a into q to the power again nth root of b that is equals to p into q to the power nth root of a into b so there are 16 formulas other two are now 15th one if a to the power n is equals to b then from this a power n is equals to b then a i can write b to the power 1 by n if you multiply all to the power 1 by n both sides this will get from this only a is equals to nth root of b because b power 1 by n is nth root of b now the last formula this is nth root of a power m so a to the power m by n because nth root we can write 1 by n okay so these are the important formulas this 16 Based on this only, we can solve the different problems which will come from this radic uh, exponents and radicals topic. Okay, in the next videos, you can see all the examples. So there are approximately, I'll explain you around that, uh, 20 problems which are very very important. These exponents and radicals, which will come from IIT foundation level problems. So the following videos you can see using these formulas, I will explain you all the problems in clear manner. So I hope you understood these formulas. So we need to remember these formulas as well as to solve the problems, you can use them. So you just to, uh, subscribe this channel because we will upload only the videos which are related to this only educational. And I apart from this, if you want to see some more formulas and problems, which is useful for ICSC, CBSC, and Inter, as well as uh, defense, an army so different different 
CAD question papers and model papers are there. So everything is free of cost. So you can browse this website, which is uh, information is very helpful for you and share it with your friends. So thank you, friends. I hope you understood well. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.